told me all about you too. Ha! Don't relish the relish. Don't need to embellish. Ain't trying to get it on. Just pass the great coupon. Ha! You like that in Jesus? We pick a play or select monologues from contemporary American plays that are diverse in age and race, like a military audience is. Grab a group of incredible theater-trained actors. Keep production value as minimal as possible. No sets, no costumes, no lights, just reading it. To throw all the emphasis on the language and to show that theater can be created at any setting. It's a powerful thing, getting in a room with complete strangers and reminding ourselves of our humanity, and that self-expression is just as valuable a tool as a rifle on your shoulder. I used to amuse friends by imitating bacon in a saucepan. <laughs> Would anyone like to see that? <laughs> I love acting so much, and to see people who are successful in it, and them perform the art, oh my gosh, thank goodness my mom is in the military, because I would have never gotten to see this. I'm just so happy. <laughs> We get to experience training exercises and just get a little taste for what the men and women that we're performing for do on a daily basis. Oh, lean back. Yeah, lean back. You ready? I think. All right, bow down. Go. You got Jump it. off. Jump off. Yep. There you go. Hurry up! It's a nice exchange because we get to mine then for details about their lives, lives that are so disparate from our own. I really appreciate that you guys took the time to come out here and do this. Yeah, thanks so much. Yes, I, it, means, it means a lot. And it's a simple exchange that you just have to like break down those walls of being like we're different people, we're different people. We have a lot in common and we can help each other. People who don't walk in the same worlds having to get to know each other. That is probably the thing that's going to save us as a human race.